Hello guys, welcome back to Apprentices Club. Today we're going to solve another tutorial name called a magic recon. So what is this a magic recon? Magic recon is a powerful shell script to maximize the recon and data collection process of an objective and finding a common vulnerabilities. All this saving as results in obtained and organized way in directories with the various formats. So, with a magic record, you can perform passive and active recognizers, vulnerability analysis, and subdomain scan, and many more other things. So, what are uh, those things? You can do it here. So, what are the main features we can get here? So, the main features we can get here, it can save the results in organized way in a different format, subdomain enumeration, and uh, it will check domain live or dead, and get who is information about every subdomain, get DNS information about every subdomain, extract the technologies used in the domain, get information about the uh, certificate used in the domain, take a screenshot of the domain, such a emails of the domain, and enumerate a public resource like uh, AWS, S3, Azure, and Google Cloud, everything. Uh, such a juicy information via GitHub Docs, check all entry in robots.txt file, get all endpoints on the web, Perform a parameter scan, perform a port scan to discover open ports, perform a directory search to find a directories and files. Check if possible to bypass a 403 or HTTP status code. Perform massive recon and vulnerability scan via nuclei every X records. And we can also search like a missing security headers. Check if the domain is vulnerable to as email spoofing. Uh, it can also check a domain is vulnerable for subdomain takeover. It can also check uh, domain vulnerable for cross uh, origin resource sharing. It can also check for uh, uh, in different endpoints are vulnerable uh, for cross site request forgery. And it can also check like entry points uh, in the URL and check it is vulnerable for open redirect and access SQL injection, uh, server side request forgery, and search for JavaScript all files with API key access and token endpoints, check it all domain users for CMS and scan it. Now, let's we would like to do here. Uh, let's, uh, this is a magic record. So, let's just uh, uh, clone this repository. So, before only I just clone, I install everything this one. So, it's take uh, more than half an hour. So, uh, I have cloned the repository. Once you have cloned the repository, come to the directory, then just type here as uh, chmod plus x install.sh then you just type here as bash.install.sh then it's take a uh, more and lengthy time process to install uh, everything this one so uh, once uh, there is a lot of tools let's you can look here there is a s check then mail soup way back urls html tool everything version 2 uh, QSR place, uh, GF, Gov, every useful information and every useful tools uh, will be installed here. So, uh, this take a uh, much more uh, lengthy time process. Now, let's, uh, we would like to try here. Once this is done, let me just type uh, here, uh, bash magic record dot sh where we have got here a magic record now i just type here as minus minus help where i have got it here now i would like to utilize a just uh, a targeted domain that's it then if you want to use a wild card so wild card will be utilizes in the any type of targeted domain so this wild card uh, will become uh, when you see uh, as a symbol uh, a symbol of uh, lock symbol uh, let me I can show you in one target it's in, in this case this is a lock symbol you can get here as green so once the wild card is presented it will become as a green that's it here let me we would like to try to do as let me just write here as clear we just uh, put here domain as aresia.com now let's uh,
Okay, now let me just speakalize here as minus a. Now, I have got here uh, every useful information you can get here. Uh, searching with the domain name details, contact details of the domain owner, domain name server, net range, or expiry records, all the information. You can look here, uh, what web, NS lookup, the targeted IP address, then what web, uh, cloud enum, robot scrapper, a robot scrapper you can consider as a robots.txt that's quite interesting you can look here another than a uh, git.cut so we don't have to find uh, python 3 cannot find uh, this git.cut are uh, searching a public resource with the aws azure and google cloud this is quite uh, interesting uh, error no such file or directory So we can utilize with the A ratio with the API. It's quite interesting. Look here, we are uh, finding all in one result. Let's you can look here. So all the results uh, we can get it here. Now, Arjun, it's not uh, finding. So, it's not at fine here as a Arjun. So, you just need to install uh, all the required tool. Then, it will be automatically will be done. All the bug bounty in one place. You can find and get even like uh, local file inclusions, remote code execution, parameter finding, SQL injection, no SQL injections. All these things will be identified here. Let's have a look here. So, while well, our uh, NMAP results will take more and lengthy time process here. So once uh, this NMAP results is done, we can get all the information. So let's you can look here for a booking for a selections, a ratio for select activities, currencies, language, uh, every useful information we have got. This is a robot scrapper. This is entire of the domain registration. Now, vulnerability missing with the header, where vulnerability with the crossy, vulnerability with the 403 bypass, then CSRF, Python, so uh, all the tools is not going to be installed. We need to try a manually. So, uh, open redirect where we have find a lot of things. And here also, we have got here with the open redirect. 301, uh, this is quite interesting. So always consider 301 uh, where uh, that you can going to get uh, somewhat uh, bounties 301 or 302 it's quite uh, interesting way.
this. Let's uh, no. So for SSRF attack, uh, we just need to enter our uh, Bugsuit configuration file. Let me just try to open this. So I have identified here a parameter is adult. Let's we would like to look here. internal issues with the system so where uh, it redirect into the uh, google that's it here Now let's come back here. So here the SSR uh, here we have got a lot of URLs here. Then later uh, you can get uh, SQL injections. That's it. Uh, after this, so you can try uh, this uh, targeted uh, URLs. That's it. Here. So you need to install and proper uh, all the tools then it will automatically uh, get you the bounty that's it here so you try it your own guys thank you guys for watching i uh, keep smiling